What is going on everybody? Chris from Out West with Chris and today a little something different on the channel, a little different type of video. Uh, we're going to be talking about a couple of items um, that I recently got, tested out. Um, this isn't exactly a review, I haven't really used it long enough for it to be a review. But uh, I do want to talk to you about these items and uh, you know down the road possibly uh, do a review on them. So uh, anyways what we got today is some eating tools, some eating accessories from a company called Full Windsor. All right, so today we're actually gonna be looking at two different tools from Full Windsor. And uh, I gotta say, these are really nice. I'm gonna jump out and say it though, right off the bat, the price tag on these is gonna be kind of um, off-putting for some folks. Uh, just right off the bat, gonna put it out there. It is, uh, these are fairly expensive items. They are very, very nice, very well made. And I think the price tag is justified, but I will have to explain that. Um, as we get going. So two things here from uh, the company Full Windsor. Um, you got the splitter and the muncher. This right here is the splitter. We'll talk about it first. This is the muncher. We'll get to that second. All right, so the splitter. Basically what the splitter is, is it's a uh, titanium like a uh, multi-tool tongs. Um, and they're really actually pretty cool. Uh, I got to test these out on a recent camping trip. Uh, with my buddy Yankee Tinker Outdoors, and I use them quite a bit. Um, I actually filmed this um, kind of overview, review, or whatever it is, um, at the campground, but the the video quality was so poor, I, I don't know what happened. But anyways, it just didn't turn out. All right, so let's take a look and see uh, what kind of makes these cool. Basically, it's a two-piece thing. Um, you click them open, and you got um, a ladle or a spork-type setup. Um, this is made out of titanium and they're really nice and long and that's great for for pouches you know like if you're doing the the dehydrated meal the mountain house pouches and stuff eaten out of the pouches oh my gosh they are the right length for that um, these things are pretty long um, this side is a spatula it also has like a, a little serrated edge right here. You can cut up stuff with that pretty easily. And the spatula itself works pretty good. Um, this would be great for, for making eggs over a small campfire or a little stove or something like that. Um, what makes them really awesome is when you combine the two and you get this. And there you go, tongs. Um, <laughs> made out of the titanium they're really durable you know when you're looking at these you pick them up and they just it just doesn't feel right it just doesn't seem right how much they weigh or how little they weigh these things are crazy light you pick them up and you're like oh my gosh that just doesn't feel right your brain doesn't compute they are made out of aerospace grade titanium and it's not just a titanium coating or anything like that um, these are titanium so they're a little bit expensive, you know what I mean? They're gonna last quite a while, I, I think. Um, they should last quite a while. Although, I do have a little bit of a, a little scrape starting to wear in right there um, from, you know, some moderate use. And I think that is from how I store it. Um, and I just store it like this, clicked in. And I think it just started rubbing back and forth. And that's what that's from. Now, I think you're supposed to be able to store them like this and that would slide there. See that little piece just like that. I can't really get it to stay. That's been my problem is getting it to stay locked in. Um, it just wants to pop right out on its own. That's not cool. Um, now if you had like some ranger bands or some rubber bands or like a night eyes tie, you could totally do it like this and tie those together and it wouldn't be a problem at all. Um, so just uh, something to be aware of. I think they're supposed to just lock in really well. And mine, for some reason, they don't really lock into place. Anyways, other than that, I literally like these things. Beyond that, uh, I had zero problems whatsoever with these tongs um, and the spatula, um, spork, all this stuff. If you do get a big, rare, and really hot fire and you're cooking on a grill over a real fire, um, say you've got a cast iron stove and you're in there trying to make eggs with that, you do have to get pretty close uh, with this um, spatula. 
and it gets a little warm in the hands. Just one thing to keep in mind. So just a few things to point out about uh, this little set right here. Uh, you got 10 inches long, um, here to here, 10 inches. One millimeter thick. I mean, super thin metal. I mean, oh gosh, that's what makes it so light, but super durable because it's made out of titanium. So that is 0 0.04 inches, um, one millimeter anyways. Um, the weight on these things, 1.8 ounces. Oh my gosh, that is going to be a, a major key thing for people that are backpackers, um, that really lightweight. Um, okay, here's the thing um, that's going to throw some people off. It is $54.99. That's what this uh, little set right here costs, $54.99. All right, up next is this item, and this is the muncher, and this is another tool from Full Windsor, and, uh, you know, it is uh, made out of titanium as well. There's a couple different components to this uh, that I do want to go over. Let's go ahead and pull this all out of uh, the pouch and just take a good look at it. Okay, it's kind of a good fit in there. Ooh, there we go. Um, and here's your ferro rod. I have used it. You can see the ferro rod is a little worn right there. And uh, striker as well. And yeah, this has gotten some use. Being a connoisseur of ferro rods, it's not the best rod in the world and it's not the worst rod in the world. Um, you'll see there's a little, little bit of cordage right there. That'll just make it easy to see, make it easy to find and grab onto. But that's about it. Um, and then, uh, yeah, you can spark it up with uh, the edge right here. So, not the best, but would it work in a pinch? Absolutely. This thing will throw some sparks. Um, they're not going to be the biggest, the brightest, the best sparks in the world, but it will work. It will throw sparks. You, you can definitely start fire with this bad boy. Moving on is the muncher itself, and this is a pretty cool uh, eating tool possibly one of the coolest eating tools I've ever seen and deceptively light again super thin right here folks so thin so light and pretty sturdy as well you know let's get into some of the different uh, tools on this thing so to start things off you got the spork up here uh, down here you got a serrated butter knife so let's take a look at that you can see the serrations right there and you can actually cut some stuff uh, with this little edge right here it actually did a pre pretty decent job um, slicing and dicing some stuff for me you have a can opener right here um, so this is your can opener um, setup you also have a bottle opener let's actually test that out right now okay just like that pretty simple you got a couple of tools built in here. This is like a little flathead screwdriver setup right here. This is what you could use that for. They also say pry bar. Uh, you have a cord cutter right here. So if you had some cordage, slide it in there and cut. Now this in here, besides being a, um, a bottle opener, one of these sides is a little bit sharper. I think it's this side down here. And you can use that to Oh gosh, I could totally cut my finger there if I'm not careful. Uh, but as a peeler, so peel an apple, peel a carrot, um, that type of thing right there. Um, and just, I have not tested that one, uh, but it would probably, it feels like it would work. I, I think I could peel my finger if I really wanted to, but I don't want to. And then um, also, like we mentioned before, fire starter. So. Uh, these tools, uh, the main tools to me are going to be your bottle opener, your can opener, um, kind of a pry bar type thing, and then the knife and the spork. And uh, I can tell you the spork works great. Um, used it to eat some bacon and eggs. These little um, parts of the spork, the fork part, are pretty pokey. They will definitely um, stab some stuff. So nice and stabby. Um, the spoon part, you could get a little bit of a mouthful in there um, with something, oatmeal or some soup or something, stew or something like that. The length on it is uh, six and a half inches. The thickness on this thing is uh, a little bit thicker than the the last tool we looked at, the splitter. Um, it's 0 0.06 inches or 1.5 millimeters. Now they say that the muncher weighs 20 grams or 0.7 ounces. Now, I don't know if that is with the ferro rod and this little pouch um, thingy or without. 
uh, just on its own. I'm not sure. And I'm not going to take the time right now to measure it. I know. Very thorough review of mine. I saw my dad filming the video and I wanted to see how light they were. So I asked him and I came over and I hold them. And this one, it's like a toothpick. It's like the weight of a toothpick. And these, it's, it's, it's like maybe the weight of like stick like this it's it's crazy and they're so light and stuff um cost on this one not as bad uh but still it's gonna be a turn off to, to quite a few people 49 dollars 99 um not cheap all right so let's close things up let's uh put a nice little bow on this uh little video um, just so you guys know i will put a a web address that you guys can go visit their website uh, it's full-windsor.com, something like that. But I'll have it written down, like, right in this area right here. Um, and then I'll have a link in the description where you can just go click in the description down below and go check out more information. If you want to order, that's great. Um, this is not a paid video. I'm not getting paid to do this. They did send these to me for free. Uh, but, uh, you know, I don't get paid if you buy them. I don't get paid if you don't. Um, I don't get paid for you just watching the video. Uh, I just got the items for free. In closing, the cost on these two items, while somewhat expensive, I think is justified. Uh, and here are my thoughts. Uh, both of these items, $50 and $55, very well made, really, really high quality materials. This isn't just some junk from China that is gonna fall apart after being used two or three times. These are two really well made, well designed tools uh, that you can take into the backcountry and uh, utilize. People that I see this really working out for, really being interested in this, uh, are like uh, backcountry hunters, guys that hike into the backcountry, uh, set up camps uh, along the way and hunt in that manner. Um, you know, you might be setting up a camp away from a base camp um, and you want lightweight stuff uh, for making dinner or something or making breakfast the next morning. Most likely just making dinner. Or ultralight backpackers, um, you know, people that are doing multiple days on a trail. Weight is a huge deal and uh, having these two items um, combined weight of like, what was it, two grams? Something like that. Uh, seriously, not that much weight. I can't remember what it was combined, but uh, not that much. So these things, I can't get over how deceptively light they are. They look like they should be super heavy and very, very light. The other people that might be interested in this are, uh, you know, those of you who are prepper-minded, um, survivalists, preparedness folks. I think some folks uh, that have an inch bag or a get home bag might be interested in, in this just because it's gonna take up very little space. It's multiple tools, um, you know, covers a couple of different bases and it's super lightweight, high quality. It's gonna last a long time. Um, that's where these are going for me. I might take them out from time to time. Like if I'm gonna go do some camping or anything like that, I'll take these with me. I'm gonna keep testing these so I can do a full review. But uh, for now, that's all I got folks. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section down below. Go visit the website, Full Windsor. Um, check them out. Like I said, I don't get paid if you buy them, but uh, you know, just check them out. If it's for you, that's great. If it's not, you'll learn something. Hope you guys are doing good. Thanks for watching. Thanks for getting out west with Chris.